Hello and welcome, I'm your CodeMonkey, and here let's check out the top new games made with Unity launch in October 22. The reason why I make these videos is to show you everything that the engine can do, the only limit is really just your own skills and imagination. The variety and the awesomeness of the games shown here really puts that to the test. All of these games are uniquely impressive, so don't listen in no particular order, except for the number one game that is my personal pick of the month. By the way, I'm currently working on my own Steam game called Total World Liberation. It's a game with tons of systems, it's open world, survival, crafting, automation and with turn-based strategy. Check out the Steam page, add it to your wishlist and follow for deadlocks. Also, Black Friday is happening right now, there's multiple sales with tons of awesome stuff discounted, there's the Unity Asset Store, all of the best sets are on sale and some flash deals at 70% off. The Synthi Store is also having a sale, so if you need some gorgeous low poly packs, check it out. And finally, there's a humble bundle all about learning Blender 3D modeling at 98% off. So if there's any assets you need, then now's the time to get them. Alright, so starting off at number 10 with yet another awesome LEGO game. There's a bunch of these, and they always look excellent. It really has a nearly perfect look, really looks like gorgeous real LEGO. This is a puzzle game where you are given a bunch of bricks and a goal, and it's up to you to combine them brick by brick to achieve that goal. Features lots of LEGO pieces to play with, you can customize your character and also features realistic physics applied to vehicles on all kinds of LEGO objects. So you can build just a static good looking object or some actual functional objects like vehicles, helicopters or a crane. You explore unique worlds and solve some puzzles in some gorgeous looking dioramas. It has very positive reviews, so if you're a fan of LEGO, then check this out. Next up we have Cultic, this one is an old school shooter. If you like this style, then this one looks perfect, really low resolution pixelated textures with some flat enemies and 2D weapons in a 3D world. Although it also has some modern features, like some accurate physics, a fully 3D world and some high quality lighting which looks pretty great combined with the old school sprites. There are 10 maps and tons of weapons, combat is fast and deadly for both the enemies and for yourself. After completing the story, you have a wave-based survival mode, so if you enjoy the gameplay, then you have plenty of game to play. It's already got over 1500 overwhelmingly positive reviews, so if you're a fan of this genre, then this looks like an excellent new entry. Then we have a game with a really fun name, it's Dave the Diver. It's a pretty fun mix of an action and management game. First you capture some fish, and then you sell some sushi. During the day, you dive into the sea to capture a fish, firing the harpoon feels really satisfying. But it's not just prey, there are also some dangerous fish that you have to fight, so you must be ready to dodge and defeat them. Then at night, it's time to serve the fish to the customers. You pour some drinks, grab the right dish for the right customer, do it right and you get a tip. You can build the menu yourself, decide what dishes you want the chef to serve and make sure you catch enough ingredients that you need. It looks like a really nice mix of genres, I saw Splattercat play a demo build quite a while ago and looks pretty fun. Already has 500 overwhelmingly positive views, so people are really enjoying this nice unique mix. Next up, a game with a very generic name, but it does look awesome, it's called Weird RPG. It's a fast paced, very difficult action game. The main thing about it is it looks like the combat is excellently tight. All the attacks look really snappy and really powerful. It says that it's influenced by Hades and Sekiro, those are two games with excellent combat and controls. Also features a multitude of weapons, each being completely different and really making you feel powerful. It has over a thousand very positive views, and also if you're a regular on this channel then you might be immediately recognize the Synthi assets, so this is yet another excellent example of something that I covered in another video, which is how players really just want awesome games to play, they don't care what assets you use to make them. Up next, if you're looking for some nice colony survival, check out Settlement Survival. You'll lead a group of survivors in search of a new home, take over this land and make it your own. You can manipulate the landscape, grow some crops and set up some trading routes. Although do remember that this is a survival game, so make sure you have enough resources and you're prepared for all of the disasters that are sure to happen. Discover some rare blueprints and explore the tech tree. So will you prioritize trading or mining, agriculture or logistics, it's all up to you. Also has a quote unquote fun mode where you relive some historical moments like the bubonic plague or the Easter Island disaster. So it seems like a really nice colony survival game. It just launched a few days ago and already has 4000 very positive reviews so this one really is selling like crazy. Then here we have Gadania, it's an open world RPG with tons of freedom. You can build your character in any way you want, so you can be a stealthy assassin or a powerful mage. You go out on an adventure, join different factions and explore and conquer some scary dungeons. You have your own house which you can build and decorate and you can also do some gardening and farm some animals. 
Every quest has many ways it can be completed. You can use raw strength or charisma, it's up to you. And just like the other game that I mentioned a while ago, you've probably noticed the Cynthia ass in this one, and again, it did not hurt the game. It has 1700 very positive views, so people really love the game. Then here we have Lost Eidolons, it's a really cinematic turn-based RPG. The attacks really are extremely cinematic, there are some gorgeous camera shots with some really nice animations and effects. Personally, I definitely need to study this one to see if there's anything I can apply to my own turn-based strategy game. The combat is grid-based with multiple units in your party, each of them with different skills. You can customize your squad from 20 characters and 10 unique classes. You can train them and unlock new skills and spells, then lay siege to castles and take out some cunning bosses by thinking and executing the perfect strategy. Then for some VR, here we have Dead Second. It looks like yet another VR shooter, but the main thing is how it's really an old school arcade shooter. I loved playing Virtua Cop as a kid and this one is pretty much exactly that. So rather than having completely free movement, you can only move to predetermined spots. Doing that allows the game to feel much better designed. All the encounters are handmade to make you feel really awesome. And the game itself is all about style, so there's lots of slow motion, some quick shots and some super cool moves. I really love how the trailer for this one looks, it really looks like it's extremely satisfying to play. If you're in the mood for a card action game, check out One More Gate. It's a deck building roguelite. There's over 100 cards you can collect and use in your deck. Lots of quests to complete and some quirky characters to meet. Being a roguelite means that every run is unique, with some unexpected powers, divine blessings and curses. All of it made with a gorgeous looking art style, some really nice clean lights and some gorgeous effects and animations. And at number one for my personal pick of the month, here is an extremely deep and complex sci-fi colony sim called Stardius. You run the AI of a ship with some hibernating humans. Take your fleet of drones and repair the ship, save the crew and explore the stars. It's inspired by both Factorio and RimWorld, those are definitely two excellent sources of inspiration. You need to watch out for pressure and O2 levels, if there's a leak then things are not going to go well. There's tons and tons of overlays to help you visualize everything that is going on with the ship. There will be disasters like asteroids that hit your ship and break the whole thing apart, so it's up to you to quickly get the drones to work repairing the ship before everything blows up. Personally, as someone who loves both Factorio and RimWorld, this one looks extremely awesome. Alright, so that's 10 awesome new games made with Unity launched in October 22. I hope this list helped you see how the Unity engine is capable of building anything. Dual limits are really just your own skills and imagination. Let me know in the comments if you've played any of these or if there's any interesting systems in the games you've been playing. Check out my own Steam game Total World Liberation and add it to your wishlist. Alright, hope that's useful. Check out these videos to learn some more. Thanks to these awesome Patreon supporters for making these videos possible. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.